cold-blooded killer, and he's not going to stop. Her 12-year-old daughter was just one of Eugene Gall's victims. This mother wants to know how he went from death row to up for parole. Good evening, everybody. At one time, Eugene Gall was called the Friday Night Rapist. That was before he raped and murdered two girls walking to school. A 14-year-old girl from Dayton and 12-year-old Lisa Jansen from the Tri-State. It's been a twisted story of justice or injustice, if you ask Lisa's mother. As Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us, even after the ruling that keeps Gall in prison, there could be another hearing that lets him out. That's Junebug. That's Kristen. Tina Jansen is surrounded by pictures of her grandchildren. They make her happy, which is why Lisa's photo is not on display. For her, there are angels everywhere. I wonder if I would have had grandchildren from her. And what, 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 I mean, there's just so many ifs. If this, what would she become, you know? I mean, there's always ifs. The morning of April 5th, 1978, Eugene Gall was prowling this quiet Columbia Township neighborhood looking for a victim. He found 12-year-old Lisa Jansen. She just left her home to walk to school. She didn't get four doors down the street when he took her. Lisa's school books were found in Kentucky the next day, then her body. Before Lisa, there was 14-year-old Beth Ann Moat. Gall kidnapped her as she walked to school in Oakwood. She was raped and stabbed to death. You've been convicted of murdering two girls. You need to serve your time. But time seems to be on Gall's side. He can't get out. And, and it's, scare, it's, it's scary to think that there's a possibility that he can. Here's why that's possible. Gall was sent to death row for killing Lisa, but in 2000, Kentucky threw out his sentence saying he was insane at the time. Since he was already convicted in Beth Ann's murder, Gall was extradited to Ohio to serve time for killing her. In 2013, the parole board told the Montgomery County prosecutor Gall was up for parole because he was given credit for time served in Kentucky. The prosecutor appealed and won, then Gall appealed. On Friday, a judge ruled the killer gets zero credit for Kentucky prison time, but still. Is there going to be that one person, that one judge, that one panel that's going to let this man out? That's scary. It's a valid question since the Ohio Department of Corrections has Eugene Gall up for parole again in 2021. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Montgomery County Prosecutor Matt Heck called Gall a dangerous person who needs to be in prison for the rest of his life.